Peace, people. Welcome to the latest episode of The Rough Draft. I am your host, Kevin Alberto Sabio, and in this episode, I'll be talking about celebrating the year 2024. Thank you for tuning in to this latest episode of The Rough Draft. Welcome to 2024. So, we are now in the new year. Uh, we're actually at the halfway point of the new year. We are in January, and so, uh, welcome to 2024. Um, Let's see. Uh, okay, now that we're in the month of January, uh, I need to get some housekeeping out of the way. So, um, as far as January is concerned, I do have my publishing anniversaries, like so, which is, if you can see it, Chroni Ooh, Chronicles of the Black Fist, Fury of the People, that dropped in 2019. So, um, yeah, it's five years old. I'm actually very happy with that one. Um, it's the book, it's the second book in the Black Fist uh, book series. I'm still working on books three and four. So, uh, please be on the lookout for that. Hopefully, I'll get one of them published within the year, next year or so. And also, boom, if you can see it properly, my knuckle, knuckle up. That was published in 2021. So uh, this book is actually um, celebrating three years of being published. So um, those two publishing anniversaries. Also uh, another housekeeping update. Um, for those of you who watched, what was it, episode 66? Um, I had participated in the end of year Smashwords sales event. Um. Nothing. I didn't sell any copies. Um, the sale ran for like two weeks uh, from December 15th to the 1st of January of this month. Um, nothing. Nobody downloaded. Nobody supported. Um, and honestly, that pissed me straight the fuck off, uh, which kind of leads to this particular episode, which was actually a different episode than what I wanted to actually originally do. Um... Yeah, that pissed me the fuck off, because you have a lot of fake-ass fans, you have a lot of bullshit supporters out there, people who claim that they're going to support you in your writing career, specifically for those of us who are independent artists. And so it's very difficult when you're trying to make your stuff available to people, and uh, they claim to be your supporters, and then when your stuff is out there, nobody supports you. They don't buy shit, they don't review it, uh, they don't help you to spread the message to other people. Um, and really, that infuriated me, because um, after this incident... Um, Actually, yeah, I went on Facebook. Um, I actually created a status about it because I, I was pretty heated about it. And, you know, um, basically people responded to the status. Um, some people, they said, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, my bad, I didn't see it. You know what I'm saying? Which is kind of bullshit because when I actually posted about it, I actually did tag a number of people like Facebook says, do that at highlight shit. And a bunch of people pressed the like and love button. But when it came to actually downloading the books off of Smashwords, nobody didn't do shit. So, yeah, that kind of made me heated. And then um, I had one stupid ass, bam ass bitch who's no longer a friend. I kicked her the fuck off my friends list. Try to clap back and say some dumb shit. I'm just like, OK, first of all, y'all niggas really need to learn how to be damn fans and how to really be supporters. And it's not about you pressing a fucking like or love button. You actually really need to do some actual real fucking support because you know what? Specifically for us being independent artists, this is not fucking easy in anything. We have to come out of pocket to make our dreams come the fuck true. So let me focus specifically on on authors. So for those of us who are independently published or completely self published, like we gotta come out of pocket in order for our dreams to come to be made to come true and to be able to hit the fucking market. So, especially, so let's say specifically something like me, I consider myself independently published because I publish my books through print on demand publishing. That's not an easy feat. Because, um, yes, you do have a few print on demand companies where you can sign up um, for free. And once the book is published and released, um, they only take a percentage of your sales. But for the majority of print on demand companies, you have to pay for that motherfucker in order for it to be published and put out into the market. You know what I'm saying? A lot of using the majority of print on demand companies, they charge you. So you have to buy a particular publishing package. So that can run you anywhere between, let's say, 
rounding off the numbers, $600 to maybe $1,100. And that was when I first got into the business 14 fucking years ago. So I can imagine that was like 2010 when I first got published. It's not 2024. I think they actually raised the fucking prices by now. So like if you want to do a top tier package, that's going to hit you up at least like a grand and a half. So that's $1,500 out your fucking pocket that you have to fucking pay. That's not an advance or anything like that because it's not a traditional publisher. And that's not including any editing services that you need. You say uh, cover art that you need. Um promotional items or something like that you say everything depends on what they have in that particular publishing package you feel me you say we have to pay that out our fucking pockets just to get the book out there you know what i'm saying and then it's like for my people who are completely independently self-published oh that's even worse because they have to do the typesetting uh they have to get the esben number they have to have the uh the cover art done it, you know what I'm saying, any edit, additional editing services that need, and then doing like offset printing, where you can't just publish one book at a time, no, you have to do a whole set of books, so that'll be run like a couple hundred to a couple thousand books that you need to be printed, you know what I'm saying, and that can run you anywhere between like, I think 10 grand and maybe between 30 and 50 grand, just to do all that by your fucking self, we have to pay that out our fucking pocket. So we're going out here and we're complaining about, pe about people not supporting us. You say, we need that goddamn money. You know what I'm saying? Just to, like for what we, for the money that we put in to have our books released and put out into the public, into the marketplace, just to make that back means we're breaking even. We're still not making any money. We just got the money back that we put in to having our books put out. You know what I'm saying? Any additional money that we make off of that, that's a fucking profit. And even when we make a fucking profit, we still have to put that money back into our business because that's what we are. We are a fucking business. We call ourselves entrepreneurs and whatnot so that we can continue to promote the fucking book. So it's just like, okay, whatever money we make back, that goes to vending fees. That goes to uh, renting out spaces if we want to do in-person events and book signings and whatnot. That goes into investing in promotional items. And it definitely goes into, you saying, funding your next goddamn fucking book that you want to release, especially if you're writing an actual fucking novel series or something. Like, cut the bullshit, people. Seriously. Cut the fucking bullshit. Don't call us, don't call yourselves our supporters if you're not buying our books helping to promote it and spread the word to some of your peoples in your circles, you, you know what I'm saying? Leaving reviews on Barnes and Nobles or Amazon or Goodreads or what, whatever fucking said site that they have, you know what I'm saying, that helps to promote the authors. Don't say that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? We're not looking for somebody to be in, in the fucking background with the fucking pom-poms. This is a business. We're trying to make a living at this because nine times out of 10, we all have day jobs and it's like, we don't really want to do the day job. That just helps to pay our bills. What we really want to do is our writing careers. You know what I'm saying? If you're a musician, you want to do your music career. If you're an artist, you want to do, you know what I'm saying, your art career, you know what I'm saying, whether you're doing actual painting, whether you're a graphic artist, you know what I'm saying, whether you're doing animation, whatever the fuck it is. So people, please stop talking the bullshit. Support people. Don't talk a whole bunch of yik yak and act like pressing a fucking like button is actually fucking doing something. This is our fucking way of living. Please respect it. Don't call yourself your, our fan or our supporter and you're not doing what the fuck you're supposed to do to support us. You know what I'm saying? Fucking Apple drops something and you people are capping out overnight for like a fucking week in order to go to an Apple store or something and buy their goddamn fucking product. Or you're going online to Amazon and you're buying that shit the next fucking day. You'll know that we published a book like fucking 10 fucking years ago and you still haven't you know, gotten off your asses and bought the goddamn fucking book. That's the shit, man. Seriously. I do apologize for this particular um, episode. I don't mean for it to be a rant, but this is just something that really gets on my nerves. Uh, it really does piss me off, and especially for me being in the business as long as I have, you get tired of people and their bullshit. So thank you very much for tuning in to this latest episode of Rough Draft. Uh, I'm not going to do all that other nonsense I usually do about you know, saying where you can get my books. Um, I'm just not in the mood for that right about now. So, um, obviously if you're watching this on YouTube or Vimeo, you know what you need to do. Please like the video. Um, please leave a comment. Um, definitely subscribe to the channel and press the notification buttons. That way, you know, when I get the next episode or when I leave something in the community section, 
Um, you can get in contact with me. Um, so as I always say, eat the fist raised. I'm always on my literary grind. Hopefully my next episode will be much better. And I'll talk to all y'all soon. Peace.